Big Polly's World of Sports Sims presents the Hometown Football League using Action PC Football 2020. Here we go again, folks. This is going to be game number 10 of week number 6 in the HDFL, the Hometown Football League. Big Polly coming to you yet again. Our 10th game of the week. Actually, our 10th game in four days. Uh, although I did a quarter Monday and then we had the cable power outage. So we, it's been a very busy week and this is the last game I'm doing this week. The recording date is August 14, 2020. And today we have Detroit against Green Bay. Green Bay an 11-point favorite riding high after their win on Monday night against Pittsburgh. The last game they played when Jim Taylor running wild on the steel curtain. Lambeau Field is our site, 57 degrees. I'll be playing as Green Bay, since they are the home team, and I always control the home team. Detroit will be uh, run by the computer. Green Bay won the toss. We'll receive it. And this Wisconsin afternoon, cool, crisp weather. Green Bay will have the win for the first and the fourth quarters. Detroit will have it for quarters two and three. Matthew Stafford quarterbacking Detroit, Aaron Rodgers for Green Bay, George Wilson, the head coach of the Lions, Vince Lombardi, who else, coaching Green Bay. Green Bay in their green, Detroit in their white uniforms with Honolulu blue lettering, Odom Adderley Canadeo back deep for the Packers, and we'll get this party started. And the return by Odom out to the 30. We'll set the Green Bay offense and the Detroit defense for you now. It's Taylor and Anderson at running back. Hudson and Sharp at wideout. Hudson we'll see a little later as a defensive back. Houghton at tight end. He could also play wide receiver. Rodgers at quarterback. Greg, Kramer, Ringo, Gillingham, and Bakhtian will be your offensive line from tackle to tackle. Your front four. For Detroit, on the defensive end, Porsche, Baker, Karras, and Brown. Your linebackers, Walker, Schmidt, Williams. Your defensive backs, Larry, Dahl, Hunter, and Quinn with one end. And on first and ten, well, he had such a great game last week. We're going to sweep it right with Jim Taylor. In 270 plus last week against Pittsburgh, and he's off to a good start today, a pickup of an 11. And we'll see if this keeps going. Go to a double tight end set, and they'll bring Taylor in again, sweep left. Green, uh, he, Detroit was showing a blitz on that play, but Taylor, another big game. 18, you see it there, he ran for 273 last week, and on these first two plays, you add that to that 273, he's over 300 yards. Uh, so that's not a bad uh, way to haul the mail if you're Jim Taylor, he's out of LSU. We're going to give him the spell and go to Donnie Anderson on this first and 10 play. Back to the line, in fact he loses a yard before Williams could get to him. Anderson is also the punter. He's out of Texas Tech. You see RB and P up there, meaning he also can punt. Second and 11. Back to the power sweep, and here's Jim Taylor. Keep running it until they stop him, and they stop him that time. A loss of two. Third and 13. We'll go to Hudson. Medium cross. Lions are blitzing. There's your throw and in completion. Looking for Sh uh, Sterling Sharp instead. Shannon Sharp plays with Denver. And Green Bay will punt, and they will bring in, uh, like keep in, Anderson for this punt. They just move him back a little bit farther. That's a nice punt out of bounds at the 10. So Detroit takes over, first and 10 at their own 10-yard line. They got 90 yards to go for a touchdown. Sanders and Taylor, the running backs. Moore and Johnson, the wideout. Sanders, another Sanders, at tight end. That's Charlie Sanders. We'll highlight for him for you there right now. Stafford at quarterback. Brown, Stanfill, Glover, Sewell, Creekmore will be your offensive line. 
Davis and Campman, Jordan and Ray. That's your defensive line for Green Bay. Matthews, Nitschke, Robinson. Your linebackers, Adderley, Hudson again, Dillon, and Wood. A very solid defensive core for Green Bay. And it's first and ten from the ten, as we were saying. This is a give to Taylor. And a gain of 12, Holding but it's going to come back. Number 88, five-yard penalty. They get Sanders, the tight end, not the running back, for a hold. And it's first and 15 now from the five. This is to bury Sanders, and he gains six before Willie Wood could tackle him. Second and nine now at the 11. Another marker down. Ball start. Offense, number 81, five-yard penalty. Repeat, second down. Johnson... For an all false start and move him back five to the six, second and 14. It's like a game of shoots and ladders has broken out here. This is Stafford. He looks for A. Sanders. I'm not sure which, and it's incomplete. Third and 14. Balls at the six as I open up another Coke. Top of the morning to you. Ball six. See what Stafford can do here. A little third down magic. Not this time. Incomplete. Stafford looked like he was throwing it away. Punting time for false Detroit. Start. And Offense. another false start. Repeat. Fourth down. Brown called for a false start. So back it up to the three. And Detroit's not going to have a lot of room to get this punt off. And that is taken. Nice return by Wood of 12 yards to the 35 of Detroit after a 44-yard punt. Not bad under the conditions. Uh, Morrill was under, Earl Morrill, who would go on and be a sometimes reserve and sometimes starting quarterback for a bunch of teams, including Baltimore and Miami, taking them each to Super Bowls. First and 10 Green Bay at the Detroit 35. Last game of the week, 10th game of the week, Jim Taylor, sweep left. Taylor with a nice gain. That's for seven yards, and he is at 34 yards today. And the computer telling me here, I'm sweeping too much because sweep left and sweep light are kind of lit up in a kind of orangish color. So I'll trap it right with Taylor this time. No gain. Williams spins him down for Detroit. Third and three. We will go short pass, and we will look for Houghton. That's caught. And a gain of nine. And back to Taylor. For some more inside running. Off tackle right. And that's a gain of five. We are going to sweep it left with Jim Taylor, since that's no longer a hot play. And Taylor close to the first, pick up a four. Third in the yard. We'll go Anderson. Dive play on third and one. You got it. First down. So Green Bay not let, giving any pretenses that you don't know what's, what they're going to do. It's just a matter of can you stop them. Trap right. Jim Taylor on first and goal from the eight. He's got a touchdown. Jim Taylor hot, hot, hot right now. As Jerry Reed sang back in the 70s, when you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. Extra point try, good by Longwell, and it's seven nothing Green Bay. We have six eleven left in the opening quarter, and here's Watkins back deep, and a touchback. First and ten, ball to twenty. Detroit will try to get back into the fray. Here is Taylor. He gains two yards, tackled by Willie Davis. Second and eight, ball to twenty-two. We have six oh five left in the quarter. Barry Sanders, no gain. Hudson makes the tackle. A couple of alpha, well, 
couple of offensive greats of all time there on that play, that, except Hudson is playing defense. Lowered the boom on him as a corner. Third and eight, ball to 22. <clears throat> that is caught by Charlie Sanders. He has the first down, and the ball is moved out to the 30. First and 10. <clears throat> Stafford. Was looking for Calvin Johnson, but Don Hudson deflected that one. And it's now a second and ten for the Lions. They trail by seven with 4.05 left and a marker before the play. Ball start. Offense, number 81, five-yard penalty. Repeat, second down. And already Detroit has committed four penalties and Green Bay has yet to commit one. Second and 15 at the 25 now. Throw, looking for Golden Tate. But Golden Tate couldn't even get the bronze on that. Incomplete. Third and 15. Ball to 25. And will Stafford be looking for number 15 again? I wonder. That time it's caught. But only for 13 yards. Hudson made a first down saving cat tackle there. And Detroit will punt. Fourth and two from their own 38. I will set up for the return. I don't think they'll do a fake here down seven. And Wood makes the fair catch. We have 3.07 left. Opening quarter. Green Bay with a little bit of a wind advantage. But they lead 7 nothing. Ball to 17. First and 10. Back to the double tight end set. And we're just going to keep running that sweep until Detroit has answers for it. A sweep to the right. Taylor, one yard. Hunter hurt. One of the safeties. He will be out a few plays. And Smith comes in to replace him. Not Don Dahl. I was looking for Smith. Bob Smith there, running back, defensive back. So he comes in at DB. And it's now second and nine. I'm going to guess what I'm going to run here, folks. Sweep left with Taylor. Close to the first. He gained seven. He needed nine. And it's third and two. Short play action pass to Hudson there. And that's caught. A gain of 17 by number 14. And a first down. 206 left in the quarter. First and ten. We'll go to Taylor again. Trap right. No gain. Second and ten. We'll stick with... Not a running game here. It's going to be a screen to Anderson. Incomplete. Now third and ten, so Green Bay will spread out. As if Mo Howard was in the on the side on the uh, in the huddle, spread out. Medium hitch to Sterling Sharp. That's caught, and a first down. Ringo was hurt, the center, and he will go out. And Brock comes in, Charlie Brock, number 29, who could play cor uh, center and linebacker. It's the great thing about these traditional NFL teams is you got a lot of two-way players who could come in. And those two-way players could beat you a couple of ways. Anderson on a dive on first and ten. Could be the end of the first quarter. Gain a two, and it is. End of 15 minutes, 7 nothing. Green Bay over Detroit. In case you missed it earlier... I have announced my next live stream, and it will be Grand Slam Wrestling at 7 o'clock, uh, Saturday, late afternoon, early evening. Version 3 is out, and there will be, we're going to do three title matches to celebrate the release of Version 3 and show you the ropes, so to speak, of Version 3. The headlining match will be a World Junior Heavyweight Championship match between Red Bestine and Rowdy Roddy Piper. Piper was a junior heavyweight champion early in his career, so thus he is eligible to try to go for the junior heavyweight championship. So that'll be 7 o'clock tomorrow night on the Big Pally, Big Polly World of Sports Sims channels. Helps to get the name right when you do this. 
Back to this game, 29 total yards for Detroit on 9 plays, 6 passes, 102 yards for Green Bay. They have run 14 rushes and 5 passes, 19 plays total. 2nd and 8, Taylor, sweep it left. And a gain of 5, Green Bay just using that power sweep over and over and over. This time we'll stretch it with Taylor. Unafraid to get the ball. He's got a first down and a pickup of five. He has 13 carries already in this game for 69 yards. First and 10, ball to 32. Are we setting something up? We very well may be. Medium fly to Don Hudson. Instead, Rogers scrambled and gained two. Brown on the stop for Detroit. Single running back in a double tight end set. And we will go to Taylor. Off tackle right. And a gain of three. Larry makes the tackle. No curly, no mo. For Detroit. And it's now third and five. Hudson, short cross. And that did not go to Hudson. It went to Houghton instead. He gained 22 to the Detroit 5. Taylor going to try to keep this on the inside. Trap left. Detroit showing blitz, but that's fine. Taylor's got another touchdown. That's eight touchdowns on the season for Taylor and two today. Your point after try is good, and it's 14-0. Green Bay just grounding and pounding Detroit into a fine paste. And Watkins is back deep for Detroit along with Fennenbach and Walker. And this return by Watkins goes to the 31. Detroit starts from there. We have 11-19 left in quarter number two. Detroit trailing 14 to nothing, trying to avoid going to 1 and 5 on the, to start the year. First and 10, ball to 31, as we were mentioning. This is Taylor, and he, no gain at best. They brought Matthews on a delayed blitz, and that seemed to slow Taylor down. Second and 10, ball to 31. Still, screen to Taylor. And Taylor with a nice game. 27 yards. His longest catch of the year. That is Alfie, Alty Taylor. And Green Bay now backed up on their own side of the 50, I believe, for the first time today. Ball to 42. First and 10, Detroit. Stafford to Barry Sanders, and that's a gain of nine. Second in the yard. Ball to 33. This is to Taylor again. He picks up five. Taylor has three carries, seven yards, and that one catch he just made for a big 27-yard gain. First and ten at the Packer 28. This goes to Taylor again. He gains six. Robinson on the stop for the Packers. Second and four. Ball to 22. Sanders again to six. Adderley on the tackle. First and 10, ball to 16. False start. Offense, number 66, five-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. Sewell, false start. Back to trade up five, and that's first and 15 at the 21. We have 6.45 left in quarter number two. Seventh play of the Detroit drive. Another marker. Encroachment, defense, number 74, five-yard penalty. They get Leroy Jordan, I believe that is, for encroachment. Henry Jordan, I am sorry, 1962, played on those early Vince Lombardi teams. And that's the first penalty Green Bay has committed. Detroit committed five in a row. First and ten at the 16 now <laughs> to Barry Sanders. He has gained four yards on that play. Let's look at Barry's uh, game logs. 
you could see there running the ball he has been held under a hundred yards every game probably the reason why Detroit is off this is a slow start they only beat Minnesota in overtime 24 21 week number three he had five catches out of the backfield against Minnesota for 54 yards but he has not gotten going in this Detroit offense second and six at the Green Bay 12 Stafford going to run? Yes, he is. That's a gain of three. Ray Nitschke, number 66 with the how do you do. And it's a third and three now from the Packer nine. Stafford. To Barry Sanders, and he's got a touchdown. And that cuts the deficit from 14 to six. To 14 to six. Barry Sanders out of Oklahoma State. Extra point by Murray is good. 14-7 14-7 with 5.07 left now in the half. Odom back deep for Green Bay. Takes it at about the 5. And he moves it out holding, to the 28. Team, ten yard but that's coming team. back. Dylan called for holding. And Green Bay starting at their own 10. Sweep right. Taylor. And why wouldn't you go to him the way he's been running the ball as of late? That's a gain of 9. They'll pitch it right to Anderson on second and a yard. But there is a blitz coming, so it's going to be a medium slant to Hudson. Can't beat it. Holding offense, number 64, 10-yard penalty. Jerry Kramer called for the hold, and it's now second and 11. They'll go back to Taylor. Sweep left. Best play Green Bay has is that sweep. And it's a gain of 10. They keep pounding away with Taylor, I'm being told. He's now with 17 catches, 90, 17 carries, 96 yards. He hasn't had a pass uh, catch yet. Third in the yard, we're going to go Rodgers. El Sneeko. Blitz coming. And got the first down, but they're going to challenge. Upon further review, the runner was stopped short of the first down. No timeout will be charged. Now that's a play you call after a team has used their challenge because if it's close, then they can't challenge it. But oh well. Fourth and inches at the 20. Green Bay is not going to go for it here. They'll put Anderson back to punt. And not a great punt. He was punting into a little bit of a win. The 39-yard punt, Watkins returns it two. So the net was 37, and Green Bay starts at their own 43. We have 310 left. Lions need a touchdown to tie. Ball start. Offense, number nine, five-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. Imagine that. They get Stafford for a false start. Back to Detroit, up five. First and 15 at the 38. <laughs> Sanders up the middle and a lot of real estate to work with. And that's a gain of 37. Nitschke was hurt on the play. And we're checking to see if he stays in. He does. Number 66 is still in there. First and 10. Ball at the Packer 25. An incompletion. Wood. Uh, got in the way of that pass intended for Sanders. Second and 10, ball to 14. Let's see which Sanders was he's throwing to there. Charlie Sanders. Okay. Second and 10 at the 25. And that's an incompletion looking for Calvin Johnson. Third and 10, ball to 25. Still. Stafford. That's a completed pass, but let's Offside. check the marker. Defense. It's not going to matter. Five yard penalty. They get Henry Jordan for offsides, but Detroit already has the first down. We have 2.19 left to halftime. This is to Taylor, and he gains three. Nitschke on the tackle. And will they get another playoff before the two minute? They do. Sanders, stuffed, loses a yard. Now we're at the two minute warning. 14-7, Green Bay over Detroit. A third and eight from the Packer 10. 
Stafford rolled to his right. Threw it to Sanders. That's Barry Sanders. Touchdown. And that is Barry Sanders' second catch for a touchdown today. So Jim Taylor with two touchdowns and Barry Sanders with two catching. Your point after try, and it's a dead even game. 14 to 14 with 143 left in the half. Each team with three timeouts. Detroit has already used their challenge. Odom back deep. Catches it at about the five. And not a bad return out to the 33. Blades on the tackle for Detroit. So if you're Green Bay, you can't really use Taylor here to the degree that you would like. So they will use Don Hudson. Medium out. Hudson out of Alabama. Incomplete. Offsides. Defense. Number 60. Five-yard penalty. Baker. Caught with uh, offsides. They'll use Taylor here. Off tackle right on first and five. See if he can beat the blitz. And he gains three. And Green Bay will burn a timeout with a buck 27 to go. Second and two. Medium pass. Play action. And we'll look for Sharp. Will Sharp be Sharp? No. Incomplete. Third and a couple. Taylor on the screen. I don't believe he's had a pass catch today. And Taylor picks up 17. Taylor at 99 yards uh, rushing so far. No huddle for Aaron Rodgers. Medium out to Sterling Sharp. First and 10 from the 42. And that's to Taylor in the flat. He gained three. And he got out of bounds. Second and seven at the 39. Short pass to Hudson. Caught and a first down, a gain of eight. But the clock will run, so Green Bay will use a timeout. They will have one left for the remaining 41 seconds of the first half. They still have their challenge left, two. Taylor is going wide. And they will look for him on the medium slant. Incomplete. Just out of his reach. To Hudson, short hitch. Incomplete. Again, looking for Taylor, but he dropped that one. Third and ten. Thirty-one yard line of Detroit. Thirty-four seconds remains. We're going to go to Kaufman. Medium cross. If completed, we'll try to call another play, but... Pass interference. Defense. Number 28. Automatic. First down. That works out well for Green Bay, too. Hunter called for pass interference. 27 seconds left. They'll look for Hudson. Medium fly. First and 10 from the 18. Incomplete. 22 seconds left to go. Medium out to Sterling. Heavy blitz, so it's going to be a screen to Taylor instead. Jim Taylor, he's got his third touchdown of the day. This time he... Did it by receiving the ball. He had two rushing. Now he's got three catches for 38 yards to go with his 18 carries for 99 yards. And he has been a one-man wrecking machine for the Packers. Here's your point after try. Good. 21-14. We have eight seconds left to go. Watkins back deep for the Detroit. Green Bay kicked it deep. Might have been better off squibbing it. Illegal block. Receiving team. And a penalty against Prochet for a legal block. Doesn't matter because that's halftime. It's 21-14 Green Bay. This channel uh, was blessed to pick up a lot of subscribers over the past week. Uh, got a mention from Tabletop Sports Delaware, and I thank you very much for that, Chris. 
Al Red Sox fan's been very kind to this channel. I thank you very much, sir. Uh, and we have we have gone from about 30 subscribers this week to 52. One of our biggest weeks of of subscribership uh, that we have had. And I know all the YouTube channels say this, but if you enjoy these videos, like these videos, hit that thumbs up button underneath the video, and that way it, we will reach more of an audience. So when football season comes around and the NFL might follow college football's lead and not play, at least initially to start the year, although on August 14th we do not know this yet, but there, there is talk of at least a couple of major college football conferences not playing. So if that continues to materialize, you'll have a ton of football games for football fans who don't even know it uh, to come watch on this channel. And that, that is our hope. And uh, when I started this project a few months ago, that was the, one of the things that I thought could possibly happen, is that the NFL may, might not get started this fall, or they might be delayed, or there might be a problem with college football, which is now beginning to look like a possibility. So if you do indeed like this channel, please like and please tell friends about it and have them subscribe. So I could keep providing these games to you. Watkins back deep for Detroit. And we'll start the second half. 213 yards for Green Bay. 37 plays. 23 rushes. 160 for Detroit. 25 plays. 14 passes. And let's get this second half started. Sometimes I talk too much. Illegal block. Receiving team. 10-yard penalty. Walker called for a legal block. I believe that is Wayne Walker, who used to be a commentator uh, for CBS back in the 80s. And I think after that did some work for the 49ers radio booth. Great voice to listen to, uh, do analysis. I think he used to do games with Dick Stockton, uh, among other people. And uh, Dick Stockton has a blog, by the way. He does a blog, and he comes out with entries every so often, worth a read. Go to Stockton Communications, and you could read his blogs. And a guy who's been around as long as Dick Stockton has been probably will tell you a thing, a thing or two. Anyway, first and ten, ball at the ten. Detroit trailing by seven. Screen to Sanders, but that's not there. Incomplete. And Barry Sanders is going to come in and get the ball on a direct snap. Second and ten. I'm going to try a run here. A run defense. Because when you put Sanders behind the center, you got to think that something's going to go on with the running play. He loses two. Clay Matthews with the tackle. You see him there. He's out of USC. Third and 12. Ball at the eight. And Detroit in a little bit of trouble. But they get out of it. Golden Tate gains 13. And it's a first down for the Lions. First and 10 at the 21 now. Alti Taylor, no gain. Second and 10, ball to 21. To Barry Sanders, and that's a loss of two. Nitschke makes the tackle. Sanders, so far today, seven uh, rushes for 50, four catches for 26. Third and 12 at the 19. That is two. Charlie Sanders, but he's short of the first. And Hudson has been hurt. And they say he will be out a few plays. And that's double trouble for Green Bay because he also plays wide receiver. Fourth and inches. Don't think Green uh, Detroit's going to fake it from this deep in their own territory. The punt went 46 yards, returned five by Wood. The punt by Earl Morrill. Green Bay takes over at their own 28, with 11.35 left in quarter number three. Trap right, Jim Taylor. Back to the line, and that's all. Taylor stuck on 99 yards. We'll go right back to him, though. Tr sweep to the left. And there he gets his 100 yards. 11 that time to go to 110. 
course, last week he had that 273 game against Pittsburgh. Medium pass play action to Sterling Sharp out of the double tight end set. And Rodgers threw it, but Porsche batted it down. Incomplete pass. Rodgers, 8 for 15 and 108 with a touchdown. Back to the sweep. Jim Taylor. Who else? And a loss of three. Schmidt with a nice play. And the crowd in Green Bay is stunned. Third and 13. Sharp. Will Sharp mean business here? Those of you old enough to remember that commercial, medium hitch. Caught by Sharp, but it looked like it was short of the first. Offense, number 51, 10-yard penalty. And Ringo was called for holding, so it wouldn't have stood anyway. And it's fourth and a yard. Green Bay has it at their own 48. And they will punt. Donnie Anderson, punting deep. A punt of 38. Watkins catches it at the 14 and goes nowhere. 9.04 left in quarter number three. It's 21-14 Green Bay. Detroit with a little bit of a wind advantage. First and 10. Stafford, 11 out of 18 for two touchdowns on 118 yards. Coming into this series. Taylor, a three-yard gain and Wood on the stop. Willie Wood. Second and seven. Ball to 17. Incomplete. Looking for Herman Moore there, and that was incompleted. Third and seven at the 17. Throw. This one went to Calvin Johnson, I believe. Yes. Pick up a 15. He had 12 catches last week against St. Louis in a losing effort. 169 yards, two touchdowns. But he's been very quiet so far in this game. First and 10, ball to 32. Detroit gets something going to tie this game. Sanders over the middle, 12 yard, got into that second level, that defensive backfield. And if you're Barry Sanders, that's where you want to be. First and 10, again, ball to 44 now. Screen to Sanders, that's there, and that's good for six yards. He's now got five catches on the day, 32 yards. To go with his five, eight rushes for 62. You think they would use Sanders a little more, in fact. Second and four at the 50. First down for Sanders. Green Bay can challenge the spot of the ball, but that's very low odds to make it a worthy challenge, so they will just hang on to their challenge for a while. First and ten at the 46 of Green Bay. A throw and a marker. Pass interference. Oh. Defense. Number 44. Automatic. First down. They get Dillon for the P.I. No Magnums were involved. First and ten. Ball to 29 to Green Bay. So the Lions hanging tough like new kids on the block. No gain. Sanders off tackle behind Brown, but Jordan messed that play up. Green Bay, that's a good thing. Second and ten. Same spot. A marker. Ball start. Offense, number 84, five-yard penalty. Repeat, second down. Herman Moore, false start. Move it back to the 34 for a second and 15. No gain. Third and 15 at the 34. Money down here for Detroit. And no money for them. Calvin Johnson could not come up with it. Field goal time for the Lions. They'll try a 51-yarder, and here is Eddie Murray. And that's easy money for him. And it's 21-17 with 3.33 left in quarter three. Odom back deep for the Packers. He'll return it. And a nice return out to the 32. But that's coming back. Brock called for holding. That backs Green Bay up to their own seven. Ouch. 21-17. Green Bay leading. Sweep left. Jim Taylor takes it from inside the goal line, but that comes all the way out. 
to the 19, a gain of 12. Taylor, now that was his 22nd carry. He's at 119 yards. He also has three, uh, three catches for 38. Anderson dive play. Anderson screen play. That's incomplete. Rodgers was flushed out of the pocket, had the roll to his right, and he could not get any uh, accuracy on that screen pass. Now it's second and ten. We'll go back to Taylor, and we will sweep it to the right side this time. Could Taylor turn the corner? He can, a little bit. Gain of three. And it's third and seven. Three wide go into the game now for the Packers. Houghton, who plays tight end, moves to wide out, and they'll go to him on a slant. Caught, but I believe that's short. Yes, it is. Gain of six. Larry, Yale Larry, made a first down saving tackle. You see him there. He was a fine defensive back back in the late 50s, early 60s. Fourth in the yard. Anderson, now this would be a situation where Green Bay would be very tempted to do a fake, but I would want the ball a little closer to 50 if I were going to do that. So this is going to be a deep punt. Watkins loses one on the return after a punt of 39. We have 58 seconds left, third quarter, 21-17, Green Bay leading. Calvin Johnson on the pass from Stafford, and he might go all the way. He does. 68 yards. Calvin Johnson, you kind of wondered when we were going to hear from him, and we just heard from him very loudly. That gives Detroit the lead. Your point after try, good, and it's 24-21. We have 42 seconds now left in quarter number three. Here's Odom back deep for the Packers, and was taken by one of the up backs. So we'll figure out who in a moment. Return of Adderley slipped, but still returned at 25 yards. So the Packers now trail for the first time in this game, 24-21. They'll go to Taylor, sweep left, and just keep running that play. Can Taylor turn the corner? Oh, yes, he can. A gain of six, and that's his 24th carry, and he's now at 128 yards. They will not run another play. Third quarter will end. It's 24-21, Detroit. And we'll take a look at the yardage. 289 for Detroit. They have run 41 plays. 24 have been passes. 260 yards for Green Bay. They have run 47 plays, and 29 of those have been runs. On second and four, how about a reverse to Hudson here? And there it goes. Hudson gains eight. That was a very nice call, which I shouldn't really say because I was the one who made it. First and ten, ball to 48, and we will sweep it a left again with Jim Taylor. Rodgers calls timeout, so that will leave them with one less. They have two remaining the remainder of the half. They will get two if the game goes to overtime. Trap right, Jim Taylor. And a gain of three. He's at 131 now. Second and seven. Screen to Anderson. Incomplete. Third and seven now. Kaufman will try to get a favorable matchup here against Quinn. Short crossing route. Will it gain seven yards? Going to be close. Yes, it gains eight. So now a move of the chains, and it's first and ten. Green Bay at the Detroit 41. Taylor back to a sweep. We're going to sweep it right. And another nice gain, six yards. His 26th carry of the day, and he's got 137. Yards in total, receive, uh, rushing the ball. We'll go to Anderson, dive play on second and four. I think he got a yard, and that's it, yes. Now it's third and three. B 
be a 51-yard field goal from here, but Green Bay will have a little bit of a wind at their backs. Sweep left, Jim Taylor. Oh, no, they didn't get it. No pickup. And 51 yards is not going to be a gimme, but they'll bring Longwell in to try it. Oh, right down the middle. Here we have a tie game. 24 to 24. Ten seventeen left in regulation. Could we be going to overtime? Which I believe would be for the second time this week. First and ten at the 35. Miami knocked off Washington in overtime early in the week. And Washington was the last team to go undefeated, but that came to an end. First and ten. Ball to 20. Detroit looking for their second win of the season. That's a dump off to Sanders. Barry Sanders, who gained seven. And let's see, Sanders now has seven catches from 39 yards to go of his 10 rushes. That is to Charlie Sanders. He gains eight. Dylan on the stop for Green Bay. First and 10. The chains move. Ball to 35. Marker before the play. False start. Offense. Number 88, five-yard penalty, repeat, first down. The previously mentioned, aforementioned Charlie Sanders with the penalty. First and 15 at the 30. Stafford getting a lot of time to throw. Illegal motion, offense, number 84, five-yard penalty. They get Herman Moore for illegal motion and move Detroit back five, first and 20. Ball is at the 26. Let's take a look at the penalty situation. We have had 18 penalties in the game, and Detroit now has 13 of them. 13 for 79. Green Bay, 5 for 50. First and 20 at the 25. Stafford, two more, gaining six. Now it'll be a second and 14. Screen to Alti Taylor. He's close to the first down. He gets 10. Nitschke. On the stop for Green Bay, we have 8.01 left in regulation. No, I do not want to call a timeout here. Third and four, money play for Detroit. Taylor gets the first, and a gain of five. Jordan was hurt, and he will not return. That was the tenth tackle by Ray Nitschke, and we'll see who comes in. Hanner is going to come in for Green Bay out of Arkansas. First and ten, ball to 46. A lot of greats came out of the University of Arkansas. Gain of four, Stafford to Barry Sanders. That is catch number eight for Sanders today. Barry Sanders, not Charlie Sanders. He has four catches for 41. Stafford now 21 for 30, 247, and three touchdowns. Second and six, ball at midfield exactly. And a sack. Hanner, who just came in off the bench, sacks Stafford for a seven-yard loss. Third and 13. Another money play here for Detroit. First down. Calvin Johnson again. That's a gain of 14. Calvin Johnson has three catches, 97 yards. First and 10 at the Green Bay, 43. And it's a give to Barry. No gain. Campman on the tackle. Second and 10 at the 43. That's a throw and a catch to Charlie Sanders and a gain of 20. First and 10 at the Green Bay, 23. Taylor again, a one yard gain. Second and nine now at the Green Bay, 22. Incomplete. Adderley tipped it. It was intended for more. Can Detroit make another third down conversion? This is the 13th play of the drive. And it's caught by Moore in a first down. Game of 11. So not only has this play, uh, this drive been very effective for the Lions, it's eating up the clock. It's taken 7-19 to get this far. This is play number 14 coming up. Taylor, back to the line. That's it. Packers will not call timeout. They'll save them for when they get the ball. 
unless the situation changes. Second and 10 at the 11 to Barry Sanders. Close to the first down. He gains nine. It'll be third and one from the two. And will we go to the two-minute warning? If not, here's your play. And we do go to the two-minute warning. What a spot. Detroit 24, Green Bay 24. But Detroit with a golden opportunity here. Third and one. Ball to two. And Sanders can't get there. He loses two yards and Green Bay will call a timeout. A minute 52 remains. Murray will come on and try a 21-yard field goal. And he gets it. 27 to 24. Detroit leading Green Bay in Green Bay with a minute 48 left. Of course, in recent years, it's been almost impossible for the Lions to beat the Packers in Green Bay. Let's see what they do here. Odom back deep for Green Bay. Short kick instead. That might be an int a mistake. Jenkins pitch it. Pitched it to Adderley, and all being told, it was a nine-yard return out to the 40. So all Green Bay needs is 30 yards, and they could tie this game. Taylor, screen on first and 10. Ball at the 40. They have one timeout left. A gain of nine. I think that was Wayne Walker who made the tackle. They'll hurry. Hudson. Short cross on second and one. We met 26 left. That's a catch. Gain of 10. They will again hurry. And they'll head out of bounds on this play. A, media, a short out to Sterling Sharp. Incomplete. Deflected by Dahl, but a marker. Interference. Defense. Number 48. And there you see it. Penalty. Automatic. First down. They get Dahl for the PI. That moves it to the 36. About a 50-50 shot of a field goal here if Green Bay does not gain any more yards. Slant to Hudson. With Detroit showing a blitz, so this might work. And it's over the middle to Hudson. He gains 11. 35 seconds left. Again, no huddle. Screen to Taylor. Taylor. Schmidt with his 10th tackle, but how much time is left? 13 seconds. And Green Bay will use its last timeout, and they'll run the clock to three. Ryan Longwell comes on and will try a 30-yard field goal to tie it and send it to overtime. It's good. And we will go to sudden death. 27 to 27. Overtime rules for the HGFL are what the NFL used to do. And that it's the first score wins the game. There's none of this. Oh, if you if you get the first possession and if you kick a field goal, uh, the other team gets the ball. Well, you know, both teams should get the ball if you're going to do something like that. But this is this is the old school sudden death overtime system that the NFL used to have starting back in 1974 and before that, back in the 50s, when they first used it in the Baltimore Giants NFL Championship of 1958. It's very simple. First team score wins the game. If we go 15 minutes, nobody has scored. It's a tie. We haven't had that happen yet in HTFL play, but you never know. Detroit won the toss to start overtime. Each team will have two timeouts in the overtime. Green Bay still has the challenge they could use. And here is... Watkins back deep for Detroit. A 12-yard return to the 12, and that's where Detroit will start. First and 10, and you know where the ball is because I already told you. Pitch to Taylor. One-yard gain. We have 376 yards for Detroit. We have 326 for Green Bay. 57 yards, 57 plays run by Detroit, 34 passes, 58 plays for Green Bay, 34 have been rushes. Can't get any much closer than this. Second and nine at the 13. Incomplete. 
utterly disrupted that throw. And we'll see who that was intended to get. Looked like it was intended for Herman Moore, number 84. Third and nine at the 13 Five. now. To Charlie, uh, not Charlie Taylor, but Johnson, Calvin Johnson. He's gone over 100 on the day. Stafford has gone over 300 yards on the day. So it's first and 10 at the Detroit 24. Remember, first score wins. That's all there is to it. Incomplete. Looking for Charlie Sanders on the long fly. Second and 10, ball to 24. That is to Herman Moore. He gains 12 and another first down. Stafford, 26 to 38, 315, three touchdowns. First and 10 at the 36 to Barry and Barry Sanders. Back to the line, and that is all. First and 10. Ball at, not first and 10, but second and 10. Ball to 36. We are two minutes, 39 seconds into overtime. And Barry Sanders gains 14. That is his ninth catch of the day. 57 yards in total receiving. The goal of his 73 rushing. First and 10 at midfield. End the round. Calvin Johnson, he gains three. Ray on the tackle for Green Bay. Second and seven at the 47. To Sanders again. Looks like he got the first. Offsides. Defense. Number 87. Five-yard penalty. And looks like the play will stand as an offsides penalty by Green Bay will be annulled. First and 10 at the Green Bay 39. Detroit already won a game this year in overtime against Minnesota, trying to do likewise against uh, Green Bay. That was to Moore incomplete. Second and 10 at the 39. Marker. Offsides. Defense. Number 79. Five-yard penalty. Hanner time. And not a good time. Defensive offsides. Second and five at the 34. Green Bay reeling. Loss of a yard by Barry Sanders. That was his 16th rush of the game. He has 80 yards rushing. Third and six. Ball to 35. That is close to the first down, but I don't think he got it. That was to Sanders. He gained three. That was his 10th catch of the day. Barry Sanders... Indeed, has 10 catches. Fourth and three. Murray comes on to try a 49-yard field goal. If it is good, Detroit has won its second game, both coming by way of the overtime period. Let's see what happens. Detroit has won. 30-27. to 27. They knock off Green Bay to go to 2-4, and four, and Green Bay falls to 4-2. and two. Player of the game honors, I think, would go to Stafford. 28 for 41, 332. Taylor had a great game in defeat. 137 yards on 27 carries. He also caught five passes for 57. You see it there. 425, 426 the total yardage for Detroit. Outgained Green Bay by 100. Detroit, uh, Green Bay scored every time in the red zone. Kicked one field goal. Detroit failed to score on one of their red zone possessions. We had 20 penalties in the game for 139 yards, so it was a bit sloppy. Green Bay ran 58 plays, 34 rushes. Detroit, four, uh, 68 plays, 41 were passes. Your scoring summary real fast. You see it there. It was Green Bay in the lead most of the way, and then Detroit... Broke through in the third quarter with the long pass from Stafford to Calvin Johnson. Then it was a battle of field goals until Murray won it 5.53 into overtime. So not a bad way to end the week, boys and girls. And we'll look at the standings in the upper north. Green Bay falls behind Minnesota. Even if Minnesota loses to Chicago later, Minnesota owns the tiebreaker. Detroit now could be uh, as little as two games behind Minnesota should they lose to the Bears. If not, they will be three games back. And when you look at the upper north and lower north, 
Cleveland would be the number one seed as things stood right now. Minnesota would either be a one or a two for leading the division. And Green Bay would have that one of the wild cards. And then you would have a fight between Cincinnati, Baltimore, and Pittsburgh for the third wild card. But we'll look more into that as the week progresses. We have five, uh, six games left to go. Chicago and Minnesota will be our first stop next week. Uh, San Francisco will play Denver. Kansas City will travel to Seattle in an Upper North game. But again... Your final in overtime was Detroit 30 and Green Bay 27. And this has been Big Polly coming to you. We wish you well no matter where you are and whenever you see this. Hope you enjoyed today's game and hope you enjoyed the slate of games we had for you this week. Physical calendar week, that is. And I'll be back on Monday with some more. We'll have some other projects to work on over the weekend. Take care and bye-bye for now, everybody.